In this recipe, we combine our tasty, gut-friendly teriyaki sauce with powerful flank steak and colorful, nutrient-rich plants from a wide variety of vegetable family groups. Here are a few sweet baby carrots full of beta-carotene for eye health. And I stumbled across morel mushrooms at the market this week, a real treat, and they're exceptionally high in iron. Okay, let's dive in to our peaceful prep. There are many ways to prepare flank steak, right? Here, I thinly slice the meat ahead of cooking as I'm short on marinade time today, ideally 24 to 48 hours. Slicing allows more of the meat to absorb more of the marinade flavors. Before we add our marinade to the meat, let's cut a few onions. They help enhance flavor and they contain enzymes to help break down protein so it's more tender. A rough chop is all that's needed as they're strained out before serving. Place your onions together with your meat in a tight glass container and add your teriyaki sauce. You'll find the link to the sauce in step number three. Combine it all together, even use your hands to massage the marinade into the protein walls. Just make sure all the steak is coated. And now, cover to refrigerate up to 48 hours. And remember to pull from the refrigerator and bring to room temperature about 20 minutes before cooking. That helps with the browning. Okay, on to our plant prep. We start with our remarkable morels. They're prized for their unique structure and subtle earthy flavor. Some love them, some don't. Regardless, they're a remarkable food. They're grown right from the ground, soaking up powerful nutrients. And with natural compounds of their own, they can stimulate our immune system directly. Here, I simply slice them in half and then add a quick soak to help release the dirt and any critters as they do live and grow in the forest floor which again adds to their rare beauty and nutrients. These fresh morel mushrooms are handpicked each spring near where I live in the mountains of the Pacific Northwest. Morels grow naturally in direct sunlight, making them an excellent source of vitamin D, and they're one of the most sought after mushrooms from top chefs around the country. After a few seconds of cleaning, simply lay the mushrooms on a towel-lined plate to dry. Of course, feel free to use whatever mushrooms are available to you and fit your budget. Next, we slice our spring onions, full of vitamin K, which can help keep your bones strong. Remember, lift at the wrist, down and forward. Bok choy is an especially good source of vitamin C and K and adds delicious crunch to the dish. It's a variety of Chinese white cabbage that falls into the cruciferous vegetable category along with kale, Brussels sprouts, and broccoli. There are many ways to slice carrots, of course. Coins, cubes, dice. Here, I choose diagonal. Whatever inspires you. Just make sure they're uniform in size so they cook evenly. Sometimes I even leave parts of the stems on for color and crunch. Cabbage is easy. Simply cut into quarters so you can easily remove the core with a single slice. Then cut into ribbons. Remember to use your crab hand technique when holding any vegetable for cutting. Your knuckles will help guide the blade and keep your fingers clear of harm. And now, on to step number three in our cookwell approach, sauce. Here is our Asian teriyaki sauce. Teriyaki known, of course, for its tasty, salty sweetness and for this gut-friendly version, I replace the more traditional soy sauce with coconut liquid aminos, lower in sodium 
and free of common allergens like gluten and soy. As always, the link is below. Step number four in our cookwell approach is heat. Here we transform our food in batches over a medium high burner. First, we want our pan to be nice and hot and we test that when a few drops of water evaporate in a second or two. The first batch is protein so that any remaining flavor bits or fond will later flavor the remaining batches. So we add a little bit of healthy fat. Here I use extra virgin olive oil and we add our pieces of flank steak to the pan. Remember to spread evenly with space so steam can rise, which allows for browning. Press to sear. One of the keys to successful browning, as I mentioned earlier, is to bring the meat to room temperature about 20 minutes before cooking. Because we're working with thin slices of meat, they're going to cook very quickly. Transfer to a bowl or a platter to let rest. The residual heat will continue to gently cook the protein while it sits and creates delicious flavor juices, all while you continue with the other batches. The second batch is mushrooms and aromatics. Add a good portion of healthy fat here because the mushrooms will soak it up and knead it to help crisp. Push the mushrooms to the side to continue cooking and then add a touch more oil and your aromatics bright green spring onions. You want to wait to add salt to the mushroom mixture until after they've been fully seared with the aromatics. Otherwise, it just makes the mushroom soggy. Transfer to your platter to combine flavor juices with your steak. The third and remaining batches are our plants. We work from firmer to tender. Here we start by sauteing our crisp carrots. Salt and stir to coat. Then press to sear. After the carrots have browned a bit, Add a quick steam for tenderizing. Swirl a tablespoon or two of water or broth around the sides of the pan and cover. You only need a minute or two. Next, push your carrots to the side and add your cabbage, a bit of extra virgin olive oil, a sprinkle of salt, and stir to coat. Finally, we make room for our tender leafy greens. We work swiftly in these batches as the method of cooking happens fast and we don't want to overcook as we like a bit of crunch in our vegetables. You can add sauce in the cooking process whenever you like, during a batch like I'm doing here or at the end. It's all good. You can plate your final ingredients individually in bowls, or here I simply toss it all back in the pan and gently stir to combine. Beautiful, right? Tender, crisp vegetables with savory steak and salty, sweet teriyaki. Savor and enjoy your good works. Enjoy. Enjoy.